morning everyone it is uh first day of the late buck season here in western washington today's thursday november 16th just getting up here it's just light now but uh as you can see i'm fogged in everywhere <laughs> everywhere we go we're just fogged in up here i'm kind of like right at the fog line uh Basically, if I went up just a little higher, I'd be all right. Or if I just went a little lower, I think I'd be all right. But right where I'm at, it's foggy. But I'm hoping it burns off, uh, lifts out of here fairly soon. Uh, but uh should be a fun hunt. It's a four-day season here, so we got four days. I have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to get it done. And if I don't, then I just don't get a deer for this year. But uh, <laughs> a deer for this year. I'm such a good poet, man. I just <laughs> be rhyming all the time. Don't even know it. Anyway, it's me and Porter today. Porter's with me. I'm gonna let this fog burn off because, uh, well, I can't see anything right now with all, all the fog, but I'll get with you guys once it burns off. All right, guys, uh, change of plans real quick. Sat here for seven minutes, <laughs> waiting for the fog to lift. Still looks like this everywhere over here, so I can't see, so I'm like, man, I don't wanna, I don't wanna just sit here and like wait for it because it's like thick, and I'm like, man, I could sit here for hours before it actually lifts. But I think if I just go up, there's a little hill over here, just up the road a little ways, that I think I can get up on that. I'll be above the fog and looking down into some stuff that I don't think is going to have fog in it. Or at least that's the hope. We are at our other spot. Still foggy over here, but... You can kind of see a little bit. I can see down these clear cuts a little bit here versus the other side. I, I couldn't see anything. And I'm whispering because these clear cuts are like right here. I mean, so there could be something right below me. I'm going to walk over here and just kind of glass a little bit. See if we can uh, pick up a deer. Nothing straight below. I got another, there's another edge over this way. I think I look down, looks into another little section. The fog really is playing a factor right now as far as ability to see. And nothing, 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 nothing close. Uh, it is cold. I don't just have this neck gaiter on because it's not cold. It's in the lake. I think it was 28 degrees this morning. Yeah, frozen out. All right, guys. Our next spot. No fog here, which is cool. It's just not a not a huge area to look at. But I have seen a few deer in this spot, so I figured let's go check it out. See if we can find a deer. Well, we gave this section a, a good little once over for. For as small as it is and whatnot, uh, it's reap rod. So anytime you're hunting reap rod, I mean, it's because there could be animals in there you just don't see. So just because it's so thick, but there's nothing out in the obvious. Being that it's late in the season, rut time right now, these bucks should be moving, you know, rutting. I just want to kind of keep moving. I think we can keep moving, and find one. I also, being that it froze last night and it's freezing. And sunny, with a freeze and sunny weather, I've always noticed that the later in the day, from like 10 to 2, seems to be a better time of day to catch deer when you have freezing cold temperatures at night and then a sunny day the next day. It just seems like they come out once that sun comes up and starts warming everything up. That's when they tend to come out and move more. We're going to keep moving and uh, until the fog really lifts, it's still looking foggy a little bit from what I can tell. So I assume it's still foggy back to where we started this morning. I think we're going to keep going this way. It looks like the further that way we go, less fog. It's time now to go get the tripod and my big binos and start glassing these hills. This hillside back behind me over here is 80% uh, fog free, 70% fog free. We thought the fog is definitely lifting, so let's find one. Oh, I thought I found it. I found an elk. I thought I found a deer. I thought I just found a giant buck. I saw the body of that thing and I was like, oh my gosh, that's huge. Just an elk. Found an animal though. Oh, there's two elk. You 
see it? There's two of them. You see both of them? You see both? That's cool, huh? Two elk. Even though it's not the species we're after. Still fun to look at them. You guys just glassed up our first year. Doesn't look like a buck, but there might be a buck nearby. So we're gonna watch it for a minute. All right, so far, just the elk. Ended up being like, I think I counted 12 elk over there. Found the one deer, but uh, that's that side of the landing that we can look at. Now we're gonna look at, come across to the other side of the landing and look back this way. What do you think, Porter? <laughs> Alright, let's find a deer. We keep the spot. Man, we must have sat here for about an hour. Probably about an hour. Just the elk and the one deer. We're going to go to a new spot and uh, see if we can find any deer somewhere else. I want to share with you guys the verse of the day. Today's verse comes from Colossians chapter 3, verse 15. It says, And let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts. For as members of one body, you are called to live in peace and always be thankful. Just driving to our next spot, I just kind of look over into the clear cut over here and I'm like, man, that kind of looks like a deer. Show sure enough, it is. Deer number two. Looks like a doe though. Put the big bind up on it to see. Make sure, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's a doe. Just checked over there with the big binos on it, and uh, it's a doe. It's supposed to be the rut. Buck's supposed to be out. One o'clock, done a lot of driving around. We've driven around to a couple different spots, checked them, nothing. <laughs> Still haven't seen anything since the last deer we saw, which was at like nine o'clock. Still just at the two deer and the 12 elk that we saw. We're back to our original spot where we started this morning. But we're just gonna kind of post up here for a little bit, maybe the next few hours and uh, see what we can find. Hopefully that nice buck pops out for us. Just found a deer, guys. I don't know what it is yet, but I'll let you know when I find out. Looks like a doe. Let's see if I can get it on camera. I gotta get it's in. A, there's not a lot of landmarks around around where it is, so I'm trying to figure out where it is on the hill. That way, I can get it. Uh, pick it up in the camera because it's there it is right there hard to see that deer in the camera the the lighting is in like the way the sun's hitting the hill and there's shadows and stuff not the best but you can't see it third deer of the day well uh we sat at this spot for like hour and a half maybe even close to two hours uh, just the one oh no we saw a deer and we did see an elk. Uh, it's the same elk, though, that we saw earlier today. I could see one of them was, they're still down in that same spot that they were this morning. But I, I didn't refilm it. Mainly one because it was, like, through the trees. And there's the same elk we saw this morning. So I was like, nah. I could hear them first. I actually heard them uh, mewing. I could hear a cow mewing. And then I heard a calf mew. And then I'm, like, looking over there. I'm like, man, they got to still be over there. And sure enough, they were over there. That's it at this spot. Just the one deer. And the elk that we saw this morning. So we're gonna move, new spot, new location. Try and get the sun. The, the one thing about this spot that I don't like, the sun is you're like looking into the sun. So there's this big glare on the hills that you're looking at, and it's more difficult. So I'm gonna try and get the sun at my back just for better viewing. So that's what we're gonna go do. A couple elk. Those are the. Those are the same elk we saw. This morning, I'm on the same side that they, they are on. 
brushes this morning we are crossed. Looking back over. Spotted a deer. That's deer number four today, so it's good. Keep watching, never know, buck could be there. It's a nice doe, good size doe, full size, full grown, by herself seems to be, but yeah. Supposedly, it's the rut, but not what I'm seeing today. I've seen four deer, four does, all by themselves. <laughs> Glassed up deer number five. Let's see what it is. Looks like another lone doe. Look like a lone doe. Here's the good news about the deer. They're at least popping out now. That's two deer in like two minutes. So I think they're going to start popping out. And I think, uh, you know, odds are in our favor. The more we see, the more our odds are that we're going to, that buck will be there. Just glassed up our sixth deer the day. This one's bedded. It looks like another doe, but... Put the spotter on it just in just in case. Yeah, definitely a doe. It's six deer now though. It's crazy. Every deer we've seen today though is just a solo deer by itself. A lot of times when you see does, even even when it's not the rut, you'll see a doe and it'll be like a doe and a fawn or maybe two does together. Or it, it's rare to really see a doe just by itself. But every deer we've seen today was just a, is a solo deer. That's just one doe by itself. <sighs> and the 12 elk. It's kind of fun, though, being out here, like, glassing up these deer. And then these elk are just still right below me just feeding, uh, you know, 400 yards down to my left over here. It's just fun, like, being in the woods, looking for deer. You got elk below. We got elk over here. We got deer over here. Fun time. Just classed up deer number seven, another lone deer, at least from what I can tell. It's in some thick, like, thick cover, so there could be another one behind it that I can't see yet, but looks like a lone doe again. Seven deer. All right, we got deer number eight. Eight and nine. First time we've seen two deer together. And I'm, I'm pretty sure this other one's a doe. With the shadow it's in, the way it's looking. Oh, I, I, I thought I saw antlers for a second, but... Oh, it's a doe. There's one of them. The other one is lower. Right here. I was so hoping that was going to be the deer. Those were that one. When I saw that second, I saw the first one, and then I could see as I'm looking at the deer through the binoculars in the bottom left of the sight picture of the binoculars, I could see another deer, and I was like, and I couldn't see its head. I could just see a body, and I was like, ooh, that's going to be a doe and a buck. Yeah, just a doe and a doe. <laughs> Nine deer today. Just glassed up deer number ten. Another bedded deer. I got the spotter on that 10th deer and uh, another doe. 10 for 10 for does today. <laughs> if you would have told me, if you would have told me, uh, hey, you're going to go up for the first day of late buck and you're going to see 10 deer, 
I would have said, well, at least one of them is going to be a buck. <laughs> it's not the case today. <laughs> Ten deer. No bucks. Our elk are still down here, though, guys. If you want to. I'll show you our elk. We got uh, one there. Um, one there. And there's one over there. And there's some more, like, closer to me, like, where this timber is. I can see them here and there move through there. Well, it is, uh, 440. We got 20 minutes till shooting light is over. We're gonna just kind of work our way out of here. We ended up seeing 10 deer today. 12 elk. It was a pretty good day. Oh, no, I didn't find the buck. Really shocked we didn't see any bucks, but it's hunting, right? You don't always see them. That's why they call it hunting. So we're gonna head out of here, and, uh... If we see something or get something, I'll show it to you. But if not, that's going to end the video. We'll be back out here tomorrow. Uh, day two, late buck. Hopefully it happens tomorrow.